Hey guys, time for another stealth camping adventure. This is the city campground. There is one here, right in the city. And it's closed for the season. And they also charge an arm and a leg. And they have prohibition on long weekends. And they actually built, they destroyed a bunch of campsites to build a big climbing gymnasium thing up there. But I think there's other spots around here that are gonna be just fine to go camping in. It's gonna get a little cold tonight. So let's wander through this campground casually and we'll see where we can find a spot to set up. Now the campground is in there and there's a little porta potty over there as well. We're gonna walk down here and see. Oh, looks closed off. Let's see what we can do. So I won't sneak into the campground, obviously, but just what I like to see is a walking trail. Just a friendly jogger going past. Now there's a few offshoots of this trail here I'm gonna explore. I'm not using my hammock today, I'm using a camo tarp setup. And it's that mossy oak fall camo, so. In with these autumn colors, that shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna march in here and hopefully get set up and see how obvious it is. And then we're gonna eat something and you know, the usual. Okay, there's this nice clear grove of spruce trees out here in the woods. There's a small meadow, then there's some more woods, and then the trail is on the other side. I'm gonna drop my pack here. I'm gonna hang up my camo tarp and see if it will obfuscate my position here because the tarp could betray my presence if it rustles in the wind, uh, that type of thing. But just gonna get that set up and we'll check it out. Right now it's just for visibility tests. I'll tweak it a little bit more so I can sleep under it. I'm not worried about rain too much. I'm not worried about mosquitoes. This is just kind of for cover. Otherwise I'd sleep right under the stars out here. So you can see how obvious this is from this side. Let's see from the trail. Well, here we are from the clearing. It's not really all the way to the trail yet. But I think it blends in nicely. We're gonna go a little further up to the trail, see what it looks like. We're on the main trail and there is no way anybody's gonna see that unless their dog wanders off following the smell of food, which could happen. But we're right up the road from the city parks building for the ski hill. I don't know if anybody's working there this early or if they come out this way, but and get back into the forest because this is the riskiest part being out here on this trail. Thankfully I don't have a backpack on. And we'll get back to my spot. One thing I always bring, it's a little bit big, but I never know if I'm gonna find a good spot to sit. Nice little stool. I'm gonna roll out a thermarest here. 
who a friend was gracious enough to lend me to film this video. And I have my usual sleeping bag that leaks the feathers everywhere out of it. So, get this set up. And then, step two, it's a little Newfoundland screech today. These supposedly auto inflate, but I always find they need a little help. Hmm. And nothing better than a satisfying sip of rum in the forest. Hmm. Those Newfies like some powerful rum. Wow, it's 40%, just normal. Someone's on the trail and I think their dog is running around. traffic on the trail here so I'm gonna go over some of my kit here real quick I know people do ask me about this so first is I got this stool I sit on and a little tripod grizzly outdoors thing because I'm never sure if there's gonna be something I can rig a chair out of followed by that I got these little food warming things they have a wick in them because I'm not having a fire out here, that's a dead giveaway to where I am. These don't throw a whole lot of light, and they do throw some heat. I plan to cook on them, except they don't really throw that much heat. So I got one of these small burners that just goes onto a isobutane cylinder. I picked this up at a place called Canadian Tire. I don't even know the name brand of it, but it was cheap. like. $20 or something. That's all my stuff is cheap, including this Coleman aluminum cook kit. I'm going to be upgrading it, but I just haven't had the time between work and the boat and building everything. Got my bear spray for intruders on four legs or two. I have uh, an external battery bank because this camera really eats through the batteries on 4K. And my phone, this will keep me charged for a week out here probably. 20,000 amp hours. I have my small light, kind of a floodlight. There's high, low, and there's the red light stealth mode. That doesn't work 100% for me because I'm colorblind. So it's better than nothing though. And this is Ozark Trail, Walmart's cheapo brand. Um, I've got rum, Newfoundland Screech. I have this mummy bag I don't even I got all this stuff so long ago edition series then the names even worn off of it and it leaks feathers all over the place uh, but should work in this temperature got my thermarest and a little bit of food and this camo tarp and that's it I could throw this kit together a lot cheaper if I didn't bring the rum and if I used a plain green tarp but I think this camo adds a lot to it and uh, yeah this is what I got so I think somebody else is on the trail I'm close turn this off now Trail is heavily used, but it shouldn't be a problem. We'll just stay nice and quiet.
may look like wilderness out here, but there's still the police helicopter. Flying past. I'm certain they're not looking for me, but I don't know. It's not a live stream. Everything's all set up here. I can head back to the trail and walk around. Uh, nothing gives me away as a urban stealth camper, unless somebody has watched my videos. But I'll head back out there and do a little exploring. I'm coming up to the bridge up ahead that I walked over. Right from that bridge, we are going to get a view of the compound for the city workers. And oh, I love the sound of the city. Isn't it glorious? Fortunately, there is really good nature in this particular city. And yeah, if I need to use the washroom, I don't just go in the forest like some animal. There's a porta potty right up there. But a lot of people on this trail, one behind me too. I'm gonna shut this down. Oh, this beautiful little creek running right through the city. There'd be some real good spots to camp over there too. But I don't know how to get there. Keep on looking around a little bit, then we gotta get back and make some dinner because I am getting hungry. There is a lot of erosion on the banks here and they find dinosaurs here all the time. There's even an Edmontonosaurus and Alberta Tosaurus and they're related to the T-Rex, but it is remarkable. And I'm very privileged to live in a city with so much wilderness, even though we're not supposed to use it after 11 and before 5 a.m. On the way back to the campsite, I followed a trail and I thought it might lead to somewhere somebody else might be camped out here that could use some water or something like that. But no, guess what it was? Beavers. Big, hairy beavers all over. This place is crawling with them. The coast is clear. Time to slither back into my forest. Just like I left her. Perfect. Time to cook some grub. And the police helicopter keeps flying around. Anyway, I got my little campfire lit. It's gonna give me a little warmth. Because it'll be kind of cold tonight. And dinner tonight, I've really scaled things down. I'm sick of carrying a big heavy backpack. And even this huge bottle of isobutane is a bit much. But I'm cooking what some subscribers have commented is a classic prison meal. Frito pie, chili corn chips, right in the bag, less mess, very easy. So I do want to give a shout out to all the people who have donated to the beer fund and to the crazy camping fund, the tarps and stuff. It doesn't come from nowhere. You guys are making it possible. And a good friend of mine in Bundaberg, Queensland, Australia, Mal is turning 69, so I want to give him a good shout out. Uh, he's a really good guy and loves to camp and hunker down himself. So, this thing throws a surprising amount of heat. Anyway... <laughs> that throws a lot more heat. So, just gonna cook this up, stirring it frequently. And I like they have lids that open up like dog food or cat food, so 
you don't need a can opener. I know I shouldn't cook it in the can, but just this once isn't going to hurt. I like to keep the dishes down to a minimum. And I got some breakfast planned for tomorrow as well. And I walked in with all this stuff just on a backpack. It could have been a smaller backpack than this. What takes up the most room is the sleeping bag. And that's no way around it, but <clears throat> everything I bring with me is cheap. I don't know if you've noticed, you don't need super expensive gear to go camping. This tarp is probably $6 on Amazon. You don't even need a sleeping bag. You could use a blanket from your house. It would work just fine. The This little stove I got here, $20 or something. I don't make money off Amazon links or anything, so I'm not going to put up a bunch of links to stuff. But I'll try and at least find out where I got them and how much they exactly were. Anyway, one of the first things I like to do that's a necessity for this urban stealth camping thing is take your phone and put it on silent because that'll give you away in a hot second when there's a little ringtone going through the forest. But I do have an alarm set because I have to get up and work in the morning. So that'll be going off. Other than that, dead silent. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> this is going to be tasty, guys. Oh, my rum's way over there. And I don't want to knock anything over. Well. These guys claim to burn for six hours. I'm suspicious of the claim. But, any little extra bit of heat in here, if this was completely closed in, would be perfect. I didn't get a big enough tarp for this, because I'm trying to keep everything nice and small in the backpack, but that's what I got. So, thanks again to everybody. And, I've said this before, but if you've watched this far, a guy in the middle of the woods in the city, camping, and cooking chili, you may as well just subscribe. Like, it's, uh, if you can put up with this, there's a lot more of it. And if you like it, even better. But, I hear that helicopter circling. Better lay low for a bit and continue to cook. chips. In Canada, we don't have the small bags of Fritos, so we have this something called Old Dutch. Corn chips and chili. Those dehydrated meals, I'm not doing them no more. That was awful. And it wasn't really necessary. Because I'm bringing the water to make them anyways. None of the water around here I would even consider treating and using. So if you're bringing the water and the food, you may as well bring it in a can. Frito pie or walk-in tacos, they call them, or the prison commissary meal, right in the forest, beside the campground, coming up to darkness. Mm-hmm. Mm this is immensely better than anything dehydrated. I won't be trying that again. Mm. Yum. Total cost of the meal? Like three bucks. Not 
good for you, but it sure is good. My squirrel is going to drive me nuts tonight if he keeps up, but I hope he's getting tired. The people on the trail there, maybe another half hour. It's getting dark. After that, should be smooth sailing. The sounds of the woods at night. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna turn my light on and head to the trail and see what I can see. It's calmed down traffic-wise, so there shouldn't be much out there. Adventure. There's the parks building behind us on the trail. Not many people on the trail. There's the camp with the light on. I can't see it. I don't think anyone else will either. Good night guys, we'll see you in the morning. Just doesn't get any better than this. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Try not to get burned on those. Alright. Hmm. Oh yeah. That was the first time I've ever used the mummy bag properly. Closed right around my head. It was cold. This is the limit of what this sleeping bag can do. I'm working up the courage to get out. It is a frosty morning. Then I'm gonna cook some breakfast. Yeah. I'm gonna need a more powerful sleeping bag for the future. Because this one, I forget what it's rated for, but around zero or the freezing point 32 Fahrenheit zero Celsius that's where I draw the line with this one it uh, it was manageable but a little on the cool side so I couldn't get this stove started fast enough this morning I'm just doing a real simple breakfast. I'm gonna boil up some water, putting in a little beef broth, and I'm gonna crack an egg into it and stir it up, and it'll be steak and eggs. And I have some bread too for dipping. Yum yum. Got my wife coming to get me and I have not heard from her yet. She set her alarm and I hope I don't have to take a bus or cab home. But we'll see, because I gotta get to work today. Bacon eggs. Never tried this before, but it was recommended to me by one of my subscribers years ago, I think. Mm-hmm. It is a pretty easy, nice meal. I could toast this if I wasn't in such a rush, but my ride is coming. Mm. Rye. So I'll eat this up. This should tear down in about five minutes and then I am out of here. And I didn't even find any garbage to pick up other than of course my own, so. 
get treat the forest well or else they'll really start cracking down. Just packing up and there's like a whole daycare tour group going through or something. Well, perfect. Now there's no evidence I was ever even here, aside from this video. So, I grab all my garbage from the trip, grab my hiking water, and hike out of here like nothing ever happened. Yeah, there was some frost last night. was a cold one, that's for sure. And now, the only obvious part is exiting onto the main trail. Right, I've made it back to the parking lot and just waiting for my ride here. Uh, we were originally going to do the camping on that raft today and yesterday, except that just wouldn't be up in time for my Thursday video. So I got a quick urban stealth camping in. And this weekend we should be heading out on the river or the lake to go camping on that homemade camping platform. And thanks for coming and hunkering down with me on this journey. It was a cold one. and. Just, uh, oh, my ride is just about pulling up here. So thanks for watching and till next time, you're camping with Steve.